Vocal expression is so important. We want to be the beacon for the rest of the nation. In fact, we have a slogan we started, giving voice to America. Nel dida la vittoria io le incontrai, stupito io nera pelo di te cose. Voice is a topic that's taught in many different departments on universities with many different types of people with many different backgrounds. And nowhere is it significant enough to uh, take up, so to speak, all of the emphasis or all the space in one department. The University of Utah has been very, very instrumental in uh, maintaining a large amount of activity. It was my specialty and my passion, my interest all my life, and so I thought maybe we can invent a new discipline called vocology, which brings together all those pieces. We can learn the best we can from the theater arts, from voice and music, from public speaking, and from the best ways of uh, rehabilitating voices if they've been injured. Research is really the biggest component that we have. Our center could not exist without cutting edge research. And what we can see with this are twofold, because it gives us something physiological that if somebody's voice is wearing out, the elevation of these dots will raise because it takes more pressure from the lungs to generate voice. And so we can diagnose how somebody's doing, even into different kind of uh, disorders. We call this semi-occluding the vocal tract. This stretches the vocal folds to keep the edges nice and clean, and it's the equivalent of going to the gym and stretching before you have your big workout for a vocalist to sing a concert or to lecture all day in class. Yeah. Okay. The mission of the National Center for Voice and Speech is to provide resources and tools toward people that are studying voice or training voice. We have educational outreach, we have vocal health outreach, our website is full of techniques, tips, it is a resource for vocal coaches, it is a resource for MDs, speech language pathologists, and then just general people that use their voice all the time. On the re outreach side of it, we teach classes and we also train people to go and teach people how they healthily train the voice, rehabilitate the voice. You can't really ask the right questions unless you experience what these people go through. I sing for fun, but I also sing to do experiments. You can't get that from just textbooks. You have to feel it and our mission is accomplished once we have given voice to America in the best way that it's possible and leaving out no one. <laughs>